0302908607. Let's hear what you uh, think about the things we're discussing. But largely, uh, how I, I have... Man, I mean, that's, that's, that's the thing. We, it's, it's a worrying situation. And but this is a worry one. This is, this is a mess. Yes. So it's, it's the debt. It's about is time ballooning. we understand that we are in a mess. It's ballooning. Uh, okay. So the issue then about so you can call us zero three zero two nine zero eight six zero seven. Keep it short. Let us know who you are and where you are calling us from. Uh, now, let's now go to the issue of GRE. Um, I mean, you say you've been working with them. They set targets, they meet it, yet there's also the... When I hear the vice president, the more he comes to speak, the more he says that we need to increase the... the to expand the tax yeah, net. the tax net. And yeah. you are meeting your targets. So what exactly? But that, that's waiting. You really said, so I can, I can... Not to defend the vice president, but he will look for more money because he still has some debts waiting. Okay. Uh, so he, he, he needs to rake in more revenue right. to manage those debts. So... At the start of it, you have a debt sitting down mm. that uh, not all started from this government. I mean, right mm. down from Nkrumah's time, all those debts have been there to date. Mm. Just that at certain periods, you can have a seat and sit down and see how much each government added and what they used it for. That's another discussion for another day. But mm. we have a debt sitting down. We need to get more revenues to, to you know, but then you, setting the targets. I, I, I think if you ask me, my friends at GRE, I've been telling them I, I, I'm happy. They are collecting and meeting their targets. Even in Corona, when we adjusted the figures, they still met their target, which is also uh, applausive. We, we as a country, I didn't see us do anything special for the tax collectors. That, that's the GRA, you know. So, I mean, I'm not being biased, you know, but I'm being fair to them. We, we did not applaud them the way I wanted, I wanted to see them being applauded for them to have collected such amounts, even in the face of Corona. But then beyond the argument, what you have said, that the figures that they set for themselves, are we being realistic? Maybe we can sit with them and then maybe adjust those figures up because there's a lot of space that, you know, the, the tax net, you don't need to necessarily, I mean, uh, uh, think about doing new things. The very old things, property rates, rent taxes, like I'll repeat every day, the president said when he visited and saw figures in East Ligon, rent figures in East Ligon can buy buildings in America. Positive, that's the truth. So the truth is that it means you have a chunk of rent taxes sitting down at East Ligon waiting for you for you to collect. Property rates. I mean, go to the, the, the estates. Don't even go to the scattered uh, environment where you feel say you're going to have a difficulty collecting. Even the, in the estates, ask them how many of them have paid their property rates from even last year. Truth is that this money sits down and waits for you. I told you about the ninth and dawn economy. People go, you know, in Chi, in the local language, we say, they bring the wares. They get to Accra around 3.30 a.m., 4 a.m. They offload, they supply. GRA will start work around, let's say, for example, around 7, sorry, not 8 a.m. or 8.30 a.m. They are gone. The night and don't economy, when we, you and I growing up, there are some people who started that there were supermarkets, night markets. They come at, 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 at night time. Even for me, uh, I was speaking Second to... Second area, um, I mean, people come there at night. Not even only GRA, I was talking right. to, I think, the assembly. The assembly. And I said, look, Wonderful point. Yeah, you are talking about food safety. Mm. You only check during the day. Right. At night. There were a lot of people <laughs> who can and that's where they are coming back. Now with. stay on the who assembly. Who checks? Who checks? Now, now stay stay on the assembly. Who checks in the evening? Now stay on the assembly. Then uh, they were looking at me. I'm like, yeah, you need to run shift system. Mm. Where well, some people have to work Good. in the night. Good. Good. Now stay on the assembly. Let's stay on the assembly just a, a few seconds. The assemblies. The, 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 we have the, the huge ones, I mean, the, the, the last scale ones, the muscled ones, AMA, TMA, KMA. It's about time government wins them off the common fund. They're too old to be there. They should know this. Look at Accra. Look at the property sitting on the land of AMA. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they were serious and they go all out for property rates, AMA should be, to be able to give government of Ghana loan around this time. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. So win them off, and then you go and shift that money to those assemblies in the hinterlands that have agri and other potentials like uh, hospitality and uh, industry, let's ensure that we go and empower them to expand the tax base. So just win these ones off. Those are the same assemblies I'm talking about again. They have opportunity to operate at night and then take their taxes like you, you said. Mm -hmm. All these opportunities they've not explored. Now, okay, go back to the, the collection systems, the construction sites. Tell every contractor, every skilled worker who comes to your site, 
register them. We'll come and take the data. They all must start paying taxes. Do you know what? Sometimes, it happened to me about eight years ago when I was working with my former boss. I saw this carpenter. He's always around in the house. He did a good job for me. I was like, why are you always in the house? I mean, so I thought empathy. I just thought I, I could get him a job. And I said, oh, my boss pays people about 4,000 cities a month. And that's about twice what I, I hear on the streets. Why don't you come and join? He said, no, he, he only likes contracts. Then I said, wow. That opened my eye to their industry. You know, those contract workers who take the roofing of a building. Some goes for about 30,000, 40,000, 50,000 per contract. And you know what? He's got apprentices. So he can just get two of the good jobs going and his apprentices are on site working for him. And that person might, might be getting in the spirit, in the spirit time of about four months, might be getting about 80,000 CDs. Mm -hmm. More than most of the... Uh, the, the yeah, the, so that's why when I hear salaries like 5,000, 6,000 and the young people are jumping at it. Yeah. I'm like, really? Oh, oh, oh you, you, talk, you, you said what? 5,000. That's a lot of money. Go back to the real government system. Okay. Degree holders are starting from a thousand and eighteen. <laughs> you want to get more heartbroken? Ah, but 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 wait, 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 wait. In some of the media houses, I spoke with some of the journalists. Right. They're telling me that they are, they are on salaries less than two thousand. Why are you in the media house thinking that you want to be paid money? Be here and just you know Enjoy. do your work and. Oh <laughs> no, but media persons are not saints though. They came here to work for money, right? And so if they are under training, yeah. in intense, right. you can help them to support. But if they have other jobs, mm -hmm. you can also maybe a media house can and look at the, the universities mm -hmm. in themselves where the main training goes on. How many universities are farms? Mm. I was chatting with a, a senior who is now a dean of students in one of the universities, and we we're having a good chat about how to get the universities, the school farms. The university farms might not just be running for practicals. Run the farms for commercial purposes. Mm -hmm. Teach that young man how to run business yeah. right from the start. So he gets an idea and create what I'll call the industrial hubs. So you put them in groups for each year group. Their group work. Put them in a company already. So six of them, they run a proposal together. They run their business back in school already. When they go through it, put them in the industrial park. In the industrial park, do you know what you do for them? You give them the machines to use them in batches mm -hmm. so they don't need to go i don't need to go and buy a, a harvester before i start farming we can all be using the group chap so this farm starts at this time the other one starts at another time and then what they do is that they can be sharing the use of the machines and if you teach that culture you you go to other places in this country ghana one excavator or a harvester for a particular farm whatever they are using it for when they finish they set it down but that is economic waste already why don't we all go into one enclave then we can share the use. You bought it anyway, but we can share the use of that machine and pay you different time. There should be no wastage, yeah. you know. Yeah. And another collection point, the DVLA. We, we stopped the toll booth system because of traffic and everything they were explaining. Look, look. Government had us say it, that we needed a luxury time, a, a tax in place. And they, they implemented it wrongly. All of a sudden, they panicked out. Mm. We said no to it because, look, you don't fix it on the engine. It should be on the make of the vehicle. Maybach, Bugatti, you're talking about Ferrari. You, look, a friend of mine came from Kenya, saw cars on the streets of Accra, and was like, Jeffrey, whoa, 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 whoa. In Kenya, I don't see these cars just like that. In Accra, Ghana, you see Ferrari, Maybach, you see all those Cadillac cars. I mean, you see the wonderful cars. A you know what you can do? Yeah. Take the monies for me. I, I need the money. I know, right? And make sure you measure up the gap between the rich and the poor. Close that gap.